What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Trevgoat here, bringing you Volume 5, I believe, of Inside the Mind of Trevgoat, where I tell you what's going on inside my mind as I play the game. So let's get right to it here. Um, I dropped in on Nuketown. Get this guy inside the building, and I'm trying to creep up on him so he doesn't hear me coming. Um, I ended up getting shot uh, right here behind me, I believe. Um, so that kind of screwed up the plan, so I had to run away. Didn't really know where that guy was shooting me from, so I just tried to run around in circles so he couldn't shoot me. Then ended up sliding in this building. Um, I was wondering where the heck this guy is. And so I healed, then I saw him. Um, somehow he did not see me. He must have been looting someone or something. I just slid right on the other side and ended up killing him. So that was good. Wanted to peek out here and see if I could still see this guy. Um, he was still shooting at me. Didn't really have a long range weapon. I uh, tried to see if I could see him through the building. Um, wasn't able to see him, but that's a uh, okay. And that brings me to my next clip here. Um, as I'm kind of running away, going towards the circle, um, I hear this guy behind me. Get some good shots into him with the Maddox. Um, I knew his shield was probably almost out, so he probably had 150 plus some shield. Looks like I killed him pretty quick there, so he might have been a little weak. Um, just switched over to my SMG and got some good shots on him. So to the next clip here, um, we still have that guy shooting me to the left. Uh, that's the same guy that was... Uh, sitting there in the first clip. Um, I ended up just getting out of there with the four-wheeler and um, we're just trying to get to the circle. So as you can see here as I bring up the circle um, I have a pretty long ways to go. Um, I'd say the best thing to do when I'm um, going into a circle I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people um, over at firing range and train station maybe even construction sites so the best thing to do is probably go towards a state or somewhere in the building in the middle um, which is where I, what I do and I find these small little buildings and it looked like somebody was here um, so I was just kind of gonna be cautious since there was that four-wheeler sitting there not sure really where he went um, get some good perks out of there as well um, popped it right away and that brings me to my next point here perks are huge in solos you can probably get away with not having them in squads and duos um, some of the time but they're huge in solo they are a huge advantage um, over players when you have them um, and if you don't have them um, like for example right here I'm just using skulker to uh, you know move around and I finally end up hearing uh, one of the guys right there um, I didn't see him right away but I heard him another huge thing to have in solos too is a lot of equipment um, not just solos but for any uh, game mode duos squads um, whatever you're playing having equipment is um, by far the best thing that you can do um, I would say clusters are huge um, I think they just got rid of the nine bing actually um, but they had it in this video but having those two concussions are huge just to, to get them stunned so they can't move um, is huge and then you could flank around so right here I get some good shots on this guy um, ran out of bullets right here he probably could have shot me back but he just uh, decides to try to run away get some more good shots into him and he is done for so this next clip here, um, I see that there's a drop over here. I kind of wanted to go for it, just see if I can get some level 3 armor. see a guy sitting on the rock over here waiting for uh, someone to come up to it and end up getting some good shots into him. For this next couple of minutes here, I kind of went rogue. I didn't really see anyone. Um, I actually was just trying to play out the circle, see if I could uh, hear some people and I actually heard this guy. This guy did not have a clue where I was. But he actually turns around and gets some really good shots into me. I was lucky that uh, I didn't die there. I didn't have cover. I only had 50 health left. Um, that was kind of a, not a smart play by myself there. Um, I should have probably got some cover as well. But I thought I was going to kill him a little bit sooner and not run out of bullets. So here I'm just, uh, I popped a sensor dart. Uh, that's another huge thing to have at the end of games. Um, just so you can know when people are around you. Um, I wanted to sneak up to the circle here. See if I could... Uh, Get, an, get another kill in the back. So as this played out, I actually heard these guys shooting over here, um, and I knew that uh, there was at least one guy, maybe two, um, as there are five people left, I believe, on the screen. Um, so I knew there was people around. Um, I wanted to kind of stay outside the circle, walk in with the storm, get some nice shots to that guy. I wanted to walk in the storm. Um, didn't know where that was coming from, so I thought that was pretty closer. Threw a flashbang kind of just out of uh, fear. I didn't know where the guy was, um, so I wanted to get to see if I could get some hits onto him. Um, now I'm just running on top of the hill, making sure that I'm the only one up here. This guy laying on the ground. I think that was that guy that I actually threw a stun towards. Um, got some 
more good shots on that guy, and I think there's only one guy left now. Um, I figured he was below the hill. I think he had a sensor dart or something right here. I um, actually thought he would be down below, so I threw that 9-bank. He ended up being right next to me below the hill, and I get a crushing defeat. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos like this and two-minute tips uh, coming later on this week, hopefully. Um, and if you enjoyed the videos, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later.